Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to show a short movie clip Thomas Edison made in 1912. This is really interesting. So, stay tuned. Edison movie, 1912, being in Utah. I want to show this short film clip. Now, it's only one minute and six seconds long. It's from Thomas Edison's Copper Mines at Bingham, Utah, released October 1912. It survives only incomplete, but this glimpse is priceless. Film note states it nicely invokes the lost mining west. Then we'll show the film again and stop and show you the places it was filmed at and talk about early Bingham Canyon. Edison helped develop motion pictures in the late 1800s. By the time this film was made in 1912, the Edison Film Studio had made over 1,200 films. Now these were mostly short. These early films are shaky in different speeds. Now remember, they were hand cranked, copied at 20 frames per second from 35 mm prints. It starts with a card looking down on the town of Bingham, which is six miles long and 60 feet wide. Now I've heard of conflicting numbers on this, like seven miles long and 40 feet wide. Well, let's just say the canyon was long and narrow. So that first look is looking down on Main Street. To the left, you can see that unique roof line of the Bingham Mercantile Store. Now here's a picture of that Bingham Mercantile Store. The map shows it approximately where it was filmed from. Then, this 1913 Stanford Fire and Insurance map shows details of the shops and businesses. I think this is really neat to look at this. Now, I have a picture taken about that same spot and around the same time. Then I have a 1912 photo looking up the canyon with the mine in the background. Next card, an Italian settlement. The picture shows a small boy playing on the front porch. Film note says, steep hillside divided into ethnic enclaves. Highland Boy was home to Italian and Eastern European immigrants. Now here's a map of that Highland Boy area. And then we have some pictures of Highland Boy. Now it's hard to say where this was filmed from. I find this interesting that the houses up here in Highland Boy, on the hillside, most of them do have front porches. I have quite a few pictures of this Highland Boy area. Here's elementary school, and in the background, you can see a lot of those houses up on the hillside. They will have a real bad fire up here in 1932. I did a video on that 1932 fire in Highland Boy. That's pretty good. Check it out. Card. A Greek settlement. Now I know exactly where this was at. The Greek camp was in Upper Bingham. It will later be called Copperfield. I find it kind of strange that they'll pick the two worst spots to film. I'll show three pictures from this area from the film. Then show you some of the pictures I have of that Greek camp or the old Greek camp I should guess I should say. Now there's a statement from the book Old Reliable it said minor shacks filled the hillsides built without permission. And, but the author was talking about Carfort Canyon. But the same could be said about the Upper Bingham area or Copperfield. Squatters built their shanties with anything they could find. Old discarded blasting powder boxes were used. So the term powder box houses. Here's some of my pictures of Greek camp. Note the six roll houses in the front, and above that is the Greek settlement. Now these six roll houses will be around for a long time. The bridge or the trestle in the picture is E-Line Extension Bridge. A new, larger, and straight E-Line Bridge will be built here shortly. One photo shows a Shea steam engine on the Copper Belt Railroad, and that will go under that bridge. Now I know this place looks a little rough, but in their defense, these men lived a meager existence so they could send money home to their families. The mining companies will respect their lifestyle 
and moved them across the canyon to apartment dwellings known as Greek Camp. The last card, the main street of Bingham. Now what a great shot this is. The covered wagon, the two kids walking across the street. Now this was taken just above the Bingham Mercantile Store. I did find a picture of this spot. Now this is looking up the canyon. The giveaway was the Peabody sign. You can see that Peabody sign in the picture from the film. This picture was taken earlier, but it was the 4th of July celebration. Next picture shot was right on the corner of Main and Car Fork, where the road splits right to Highland Boy, left to Copperfield. So across the street from the Bingham Mercatel was the Copper King Bar, you can see, and then the Vienna Cafe. Jay Sindar and the Warwick Bars was down the street. Now, I love the man on the horse riding down the street. I have two pictures of this place. Then I have a couple looking up the street. Note the Vienna Cafe sign. And then right underneath it, it says the right place to eat. Then I have a picture taken just two years later in 1914. Now notice all the cars on the street now. I thought that was really interesting from the 1912 pictures. Then let's look at some pictures of the mine in 1912. This is just six years after open cut mining started. This panoramic view shows the mine to the left, Carfort Bridge, bottom center, and bottom right, just a glimpse of that town of Bingham. Then here's a photo of the mine and the workings in 1912. Thomas Edison was no stranger to Bingham Canyon. My friend Larry Sachs had a letter that was signed by Thomas Edison. Now he sold this for the signature, but we have a copy of that letter and it was addressed to Ohio Copper Company and it was dated June 4th, 1924. It tells a little about experimenting to make use of copper cement. In the Winnipedia, it said that Edison had mining endeavors using low-grade ores. This venture would fail. Edison used some of the materials and equipment to produce cement. One last thing. As I look and study the picture of the boy on the front porch, now I think the house was one of the roll houses in Upper Bingham. I know the card in the film note says Italian settlement, Highland boy, but the hillside in the background and the view of the houses makes me think it was the same area as Greek settlement or Greek camp. Anyway, what do you think? Put your thoughts in the comment if you want. Anyway, one last look at this great 1912 film, Edison's Copper Mines, Bingham, Utah. Thank mm -hmm. you.